We've got our uh, universal and, uh, and a belly fit. And what I'm going to show you in this video is just the number of ways to be able to use the, uh, the universal on different jackets and some of the particularities about using the, uh, the little clips, which... Step one is getting it, simplest way to get it on a jacket is either sliding it on from the bottom or sliding it over the, on the top. And that all depends on whether the, uh, the slider itself, uh, whether there's a slider, sorry, whether there's one or two sliders. So if I take my jacket right here, there's no slider on this side. It's just one slider on this side. So that means what I'll do is sometimes easier just to separate it in two first. I'm going to slide it on the side uh, that doesn't have the doesn't have the slider. Pretty straightforward. There we go. And then you'll feel as you're sliding, there's enough friction there for it to just rest in place. Now, the reason we supply the uh, these additional clips is that just in case um, there isn't enough friction uh, or the material is a little bit thinner, then you can take one of these. And let me show you, you just unclip it like this. And I would suggest placing it between the two bottom, uh, just between the two bottom clips. Uh, so hopefully you can see this in the video right here, just between the two here, give it a close. And that way it locks the, uh, the longer, the, sorry, it locks the, uh, the universal in place. Um, the other thing you can do on a longer jacket, so Again, you can or cannot use these, uh, these clips on a longer jacket. So all you're going to be doing is simply adjusting it and sliding it up a little bit higher. So you would have the, uh, obviously any excess zip just uh, sitting down here, uh, sitting down here at the bottom. Now on a uh, shorter jacket, what you're going to be doing is and this is, uh, this is where the video is hopefully going to come in handy. So on a shorter jacket, for example, let's say if uh, my zips, uh, the, uh, the universal is a little bit too long for, uh, for, my, uh, for a shorter jacket. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the two top clips past the top of the jacket. And then I'm going to fold the top one down. And it's just going to sit right in between the, uh, the second and the third. And at that stage, what I can do is I can slide it back down and capture the tea. It takes a little bit of jiggling sometimes. Um, just slide the first one back down. So that's the first one on. Hopefully uh, close-ups are working. And then I'm going to slide the second one in. Let's see, get that right. Just pull that down. There we go. So now all of those clips, see it's kind of actually kind of hard to see like this. But all of those clips are now attached. So it basically goes the, uh, let me see, third, first clip, and then the second. And this way it stays folded down inside the jacket, but it, you've shortened it by about two or three inches. So this is how you get the, uh, you shorten the, uh, the universal on a shorter jacket. And so when it comes to zipping in the belly fit, again, very simple, uh, uh, very similar approach. Let's see back of it for you. So when I zip in the belly fit, obviously that's now, the zip is going to stop here. And so the excess belly fit that we have there, uh, I'll just bring it in a little bit closer again. You can snap that down. The best way I find on a shorter jacket, you can snap the top of the belly fit down and that way it just sits neatly along the same line as the uh, as the universal that's been folded down. So that's in a shorter jacket, and that was attaching the universal from the bottom where there wasn't a, a slider. So now we have the, the slider on the other side. Now, when you're sliding it on the other side, that does mean you, when it's a single slider and you've got the little square stop at the bottom, it means you have to slide it on from the top now. So in the easiest way, you won't have any material or anything to peel back here. And it's just a case of sliding it over the top and starting. So, yeah, right, a little bit the same. There we go. There we go, and that's uh, that's it on. And that can rest down at the bottom. That can rest uh, right on the uh, the zip at the bottom. Now, again, same idea. If it's on a shorter jacket, you can extend the two clips past the top fold it down, slide it back on the top, and that's you shortened it for a shorter jacket. Now, if you've got a jacket with two sliders, two sliders meaning is, you know, 
I don't have a jacket right now, but when you have two sliders, you can actually slide the two sliders all the way up and you can actually slide both sides of the universal on from the bottom. So it makes it a little bit easier rather than having to attach it uh, on the top on one side. So that's with two sliders, you can slide the universal both from the bottom. Um, where you sliding it from the top, some of the things you might run into is say a jacket like this, for example, um, where there's some material covering the top, you just need to open up that material, make sure you've got enough of, uh, enough of that top part exposed, and then this, the, the clip on the universal will slide right over that. There we go, just take this one off. So this is where I peeled uh, peeled that material back on the top of this side, and that way I can just let's see. We'll bring it around this way, and you can just start to slide that on from the top. Same with the other ones as well. When it's a bigger zip, sometimes that top part is a little bit bigger, so it just takes a little bit more a little bit more pressure just to be able to get that top part on, but it is designed to do that. It is designed to flex enough to be able to go over the top. So you should have no worries about uh, any kind of damage to the zip. It is designed to do that. And that is how you get it over the top of the zip. On the side where you don't have a stop on the bottom of the zip, you might find that that bottom zip slides out. It doesn't happen often, but it usually happens when more space is needed in the jacket. Um, so usually that's when you need to uh, zip in the belly fit, but in the meantime, if it becomes an issue, this is where the clips also, uh, also come in handy. Just grab this one. So, so basically instead of, so before we we're talking about when it slid, if you did want to stop it from sliding, if it was moving too much, you can put that clip between the bottom uh, the bottom one and the uh, the, uh, the second from the bottom, but instead this time you can clip it onto the very bottom of the zip. So what I'm talking about with uh, what what appears basically, it may seem like the uh, the the clip is unclipping from the bottom of the zip, but what, what what's actually happening when you start to apply pressure there? Sometimes that bottom zip can just zip out. It'll just, sorry, it'll just slide out. And that's just because of the pressures around the bottom of the jacket. It can be maybe, for example, when they sit down and it will want to pop out. So to be able to prevent that, if ever it becomes an issue, which it isn't a big one, you can simply clip the uh, clip on the bottom. I'll just come up and give you, a, give you a close up on that one. You can clip the clip on the bottom here and that will prevent that bottom, uh, the bottom from ever sliding out. So that covers that covers all the basics of the Universal. Um, it covers the different uses on shorter jackets, being able to fold it, longer jackets repositioning it. If it starts to move, if the customer finds it moving, you can use the additional clips. If the customer finds the bottom zip is popping out, you can use, again, the additional clip and put it on the very bottom of the zip. And that is how you use our new Universal. Thanks very much.